F is for fix your ankle. When babies are born, they don't have that tone in their neck to hold their head up. So we have to support their head with our body when we're holding them. And while of course we don't want a baby's head to do this when we're holding them, we also don't want it to do this. When they're born, their airways are basically like a drinking straw. And because their heads carry about 30% of their body weight under age one, their heads are very top heavy. So if they're seated upright, their chin is likely to drop to their chest and in turn, their airway also is moving. And that airway can be pinched off. And yes, we are going to address head slump in this series, so stay tuned for that. When you're installing a car seat for a newborn, it is especially important to have that car seat installed as reclined as allowed in the car seats user manual. So how am I going to know what that recline is? Everything you need to know about the recline will be in the user manual. And again, it's important to check your manual because every manual will be different. Since Holly explained the importance of having your car seat at the correct angle, I'm gonna show you what the angle mechanisms look like on a few different car seats. On the Britex Be Safe Gen 2, you have a dial indicator. On the Click Foot, you have these lines that you just even up with the horizon. On the Britex Advocate, you have a rolling ball mechanism. On the Peg Paragonito Infant Seat, you have a water bubble. And then on the Click Ling Infant Base, you have my favorite, and that is the post installation angle adjustment sled. This allows you to install the base. Adjust this to be at the proper angle and then you check your water bubble to make sure it's great. It's awesome. A lot of those indicators work with gravity and if you're parked on an incline, you're not going to get a correct reading. And if your car seat has multiple recline angles, your user manual is the best place to check for guidance on when and how to adjust the angle. This is often based on a child's development, such as weight, or it could even be something like the ability to sit unassisted. For more expert baby and toddler safety tips, follow the Jamie Grayson and Safe Beginnings.